Good morning, everyone. My name is Eltamar, and we're going to be continuing our Let's Play of Baldur's Gate 3. Where we left last time, we were in the House of Healing, which is what we're loading into right now. We're going to go fight the good doctor, who, from what I remember of his previous fight, last time we did this fight, has one of the coolest models in the game. This calls for careful footwork. All right, I'm going to get our people into position. Carlac, I want actually to come down this way. We're going to split the group up. Not that way. This way. She is going to come over to about here. Give or take. I'm ready. Shadowheart also going to come into this part of the room. Step softly. I'm going to get Shadowheart to come around behind this little encounter, I think. So far, Karlak hasn't entered line of sight, which is a plus. Uh, while she moves there, Gale is definitely going to be up here, probably about this area. And our main character is going to enter the front door and start the encounter by talking to the good doctor. We're going to find out what he wants, what his goals, his hopes and dreams, all those things we're going to discover. So somebody has vision clearly back here. There is a distressed patient. I'm going to maybe try and keep him alive. Only because I've never seen... Actually, did we... I don't know if we said... Or did we save him last time? I don't think we saved him last time. I think he died, but... Uh, On my way. Our last playthrough is a little bit of a distant memory at this point in time, so... Let's go in. We're gonna go in without stealth. Brazenly out in the open. Here we go. The objective of the Scalpel Sisters is to soothe... For the scalpel indeed is an extension of Sha. See how the patient reacts when I but stroke the right nerve. Hear its comfort, hear the very melody of mercy. Pray, sister, show us the extent of your beneficence. Stop. Stay your hand, for it slaps where it should stroke. We can hardly hear the patient sighs of solace. Perhaps it is our unexpected audience that makes you quiver. Come, step forward. You are no sister, but that matters none. Every student is welcome. You will stop this sick spectacle at once. Sick? Quite, but on the cusp of a cure. Absence. Absence. No other word captures the heart of Shah so very perfectly. It is the scalpel-led journey that leads from pain to peace. See? What is the light of eyes but the cancer that causes one to witness the laceration of being? If light is the symptom, then darkness is the cure. For in light there is presence, but in darkness there is absence. In light is presence, in darkness, absence. You are well on your way, but one white orb disfigures you still. Let us finish the cure. We could probably try and do one of these. Let's see. Um, well, persuasion's not our forte. Religion, also. Not really our... None of these are really our forte. Let's try and religion, though. DC 14. We managed to succeed, which is interesting. You remember a Sharon Maxim. Go forth and sow doubt, but do not compel it, for only the willing may know the lady's embrace. Let's examine the sisters and their implements as well. Try an investigation. 14 again. We did not succeed at that one. It's okay. Uh, we could... You know what? Let's inspiration it. We got lots of inspiration rolls. We critically succeeded that time. The sisters' blades are bloodied and dull. 
Only the most measured hand could make a clean incision. Their blades are uneven. Efficient surgery will require further training. Their incisions are as yet still streaked with imprecision. That much I must concede. How to steady their hands, I wonder. When the fist trembles, sometimes another is needed to steady it. A good master would volunteer themselves. We are not going to do this. It's DC 21. We have advantage. However, we are at negative one. We can only succeed on a critical success, which we definitely did not get, but we got much closer than I thought. There is misdirection in your words. You seek to linger in your sickness. I honestly didn't think that was going to work. Sisters, what say we to such wretches? The scalpel soothes. Come sing its song. We would hear your melody of mercy. I love his character model, though. It's truly horrifying. We rolled a very good initiative. No one else is in combat yet. Um, the distressed patient. See, my first thought was just to fireball this group. You know, teach him a lesson. In fireballs. But... If we do that, the distressed patient will definitely die. And that would kind of suck. So, what can we do instead? We could pulverize one of the sisters with a Scorching Ray, like a level 3 Scorching Ray. That won't kill it. Neither will a level 4, but a level 3 is pretty good. I don't really want to burn all my high level spells yet, so let's do that. She almost died, actually. That was actually really close. Okay, uh, let's see who else we got in the woodworks that can uh, help out with this. So we're going to move Karlak a little bit forward. They are all facing this way at the moment, which is nice. We're going to use our double shot. Hit that one, and then hit this one. One of them did die. We're going to use that again, though. We're burning our bardic inspirations to use these, but they are extremely useful. Can you shoot the same person twice? Oh my god, you absolutely can. That is so brokenly powerful. Cool. Two sisters dead right off the bat. Another one has taken some damage. Not dead yet, though. And we're going to end Gale's turn as well, because he's... He's done his turn, too. But he's actually not even up on the turn order yet. I was also going to use Guardian Spirits, but that might kill this person. So I think we should just walk in and uh, try and punch someone in the face. Or alternatively, we could Sacred Flame. No, we can't. That is not going to hit. It's not even the remotest chance that's going to work. We could burn these guys. We don't have to hit the guy. Okay, let's do that. Blinded a bunch of damage. She's not in range of anything, but did do some work. 13 damage to Malice, which is not a whole lot, but did hit Sister Hana for a bunch. Uh, we're going to rage up. The patient is still alive. Good. We're gonna lay waste to Sister Hana. Okay, this is going really well so far. Let's see what he does on his turn. So, we took six damage, which is not the worst. What does she have? Oh, that heart's paralyzed. Okay. Gale's turn is done. Um, I'm going to do Karlak's turn first to see what happens with this situation. Mm, not the most damage. Let's try that again. Okay, good. I was seeing if we just kill her before we have to go in. I need to bless Karlak, I think. But we are, again, paralyzed for a little bit. So that's not going to happen. Let's just go in. 15 damage... 14 damage. Flurry blows for topple. Did not work, but again, some more damage is good. Oh no, we didn't succeed on that. Now we're frightened and a new one has gotten up. Less than ideal. Okay, so we... We use a bigger one of these. T 
two on her, three on him. Oh, fire doesn't work on him very well, does it? Oh, critical hits work just fine. Oh, one hit point, really? Okay, well, that's fine. We're going to bring her... I really want Guardian Spirits so bad. Heading there. Then again, we just come down here and we do Mass Healing Word. That'll hit two people. Oh, it didn't hit Carl. She was around the corner. She wasn't in line of sight. However, our character is blessed, so that's good. So plus. 35% chance, not a hope. 60% chance. It still didn't work, but it was a better chance than the other one. We are immobile and frightened. We have disadvantage to hit. Do we not have cleave? I guess not. Alright, <laughs> let's use Carlax offhand to shoot her. Good, that worked. We're out of Bardic Inspiration, so main hand attacks are just going to be shooting the doctor. 27 damage. Missed attack, that's fine. Time to push my luck again. And I guess we just go in on 49% chance is not very good. Actually, we get even odds with reckless attack, so let's do that. Sixteen more damage. How long are we feared for, by the way? One turn, okay. Not a big deal. And the assistant has come back to life again, annoyingly. We lost some temporary hit points. That's fine. It took a little bit as well. Um... What do we want to blast this guy with? Fire works okay, I think. He's got fire resistance, like really good fire resistance, but we were- oh wait. I don't think he can stop- yeah. We ignore resistance on our fire damage because of that one thing we took, that elemental ascension or whatever it was. So let's just keep hitting him with it. 186 hit points left is a lot of hit points left, unfortunately. I'm going to move you all the way over here. I think we'll be out of range. Also, we blinded him, which is nice. I'm actually going to move you a little further away, I think. Just, I don't want to kill that one guy, and we want radiant damage. Annoyingly, we're now too far away. But that's okay. We'll deal with it in a sec. 16 life on that one guy. Girl, whatever. Dead. We do advantage to hit him because now he is blinded, but we missed anyways, so... 29 damage, good. Good critical hit there, that was nice. Gloria blows again. We got a topple! It's not gonna matter, he's gonna get back up immediately, but at least we got a topple off. That was nice to do. Multi-attack, this is gonna hurt. Oh, critical miss on one, 14 damage on the other, so... Another sister has come back to life, very annoying. I'm gonna move you forward, just like... One more step. There we go, perfect. Good. I don't want to go anywhere forward because I might kill him by accident, and I don't want to do that. That being said, we have nothing to hit this guy with. 6% chance for Sacred Flame, awesome. That didn't work, but was didn't wouldn't expect it to work either. This is fine. All right, let's do another one of these. That was a lot of damage, actually. That was 27, 35. He's almost dead. We critically missed. 15 damage. Some more damage. Not that one. Shoot her. I don't want her doing anything weird. Let's put her down. And one more hit should do it. Except we missed. A little bit more extra damage. Oh, miss, miss. Nice. So this guy is still alive, technically. Oh, he's going to summon another one. She immediately took 11 damage, though. And then died. Okay, so we saved this guy's life. I wonder what he wants from us this time. I'd love to, thanks. I'm gonna get you to Which dismiss. Always shop. Uh, how do I do that? Get rid of guardian spirits. 
There's a button somewhere for this. I never remember. Oh, there it is. Go over there. Don't blow this guy up. Let's see what he has to say for himself. Let's see if we can... Well, we probably can't heal him, but... We'll talk to him at least. How is she encumbered? Let me fix that. Oh, well. Well, he's... Okay, well, I saved him, but that was completely useless, apparently. Because he's now just... Writhing in agony. Can we heal him? No. You just want to stay there? Okay. Can we put him down? Like, out of his misery? Does that... Is that what he wants? Maybe? Malice Thorn. What do you have for loot? I also need to send things away. Okay, so he's got Surgeon's Subjugation Amulet. Paralyzing... Critical. Once per long rest, when scoring a critical hit on a humanoid, the wearer can paralyze the target for two turns. Fancy. Camp for that. Money. Shadow heart. Shadow heart. Shadow heart. Uh, I'm gonna send what- oh right, because I don't think I saved after sending this stuff back to camp. That armor, and there was another armor. There we go, now she's not encumbered. She's fine. There's a couple more sisters around the room, I noticed. There's Sister Julia. Who has another so bone down. saw? Wraithwind Necrology has a book, I think. Or a scroll. Can we do surgery on the poor man? Oh no. Is this gonna be for another evil playthrough we do later? I'm gonna I think I've been pondering a uh honor run. I will not use the characters as they stand, even our main character. I'll be making a very overpowered group. Like, Karlak is pretty overpowered at this point in time, but we'll make the whole group overpowered like Karlak. And yes, our main character is getting overpowered slowly, but she she needs a little more time. Okay, let's read that book on necromancy, necrology, whatever. Not the same thing. This sustained scroll is list of the dead, specifically casualties of battle. It's dated 986 DR about half a millennium ago and signed by Malice Thorm. Titus Craft, Justiciar, Decapitation, Lauden Eben, Justiciar, Bloodlost, Unknown Salunite, Arcane Burns, Unknown, Smashed in Skull, Mor and Mar, Justiciar, Split in Two, Unknown Druid, Crushed Windpipe. From these names follow hundreds of others. A final index catalogs objects plucked from various corpses, daggers, pins, and jewelry of all sorts. I know there's one more thing to find in here. I think there's a ladder. Yeah, I remember there being a ladder here. And we found a loot, which is something I might note. Maybe we can go wake up that guy, Art Kulog. Should be fine. We'll see what happens. I don't know how to save that poor surgery guy. Let me try and talk to him again. No, there's no point. He's fine. He'll be okay. Actually, he won't be. He'll die of starvation just sitting there. We'll give it another chance to save his life. Out of the way, door. Alright, gilded chest over here in the corner. Oh wait, I think it's locked. It is locked. Although it didn't show us being locked until we got here, that's weird. Open up. DC 10, we have advantage. Easy enough to open. It has money and a goblet. Not particularly exciting. Row of books with a scroll of animate dead. Nothing over there. Another gilded chest, also locked, which I just pinged by accident. DC 10. And it has elixirs and a po or poison and some money. You know what we never use? Our poisons. Any of them. Oh, we missed a back room as well. I just saw it. Also, another key. We need to go back down to the surgery. I'm going to hit the button there. There's a, it's like a back room over on this side, I think it was, when I walked through. Yeah, right here. This little black square. Oh, there was a way up from here. There's like a... Okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's go in here. What's this? A painted chest. It has poisoner's gloves. In Venom, when you deal poison damage, the target needs to succeed a constitution saving throw or become poisoned. 
And another, another key. Which leads to what exactly? Shadow heart. More stuff for you to alchemy later. More alchemy. A wardrobe. No lions, no witches. On it. I personally think a good sort of fun homage or late or tie-in would be like if you open a wardrobe and there's like a stuffed lion and a witch hat. That would make my day. I would laugh. Uh, we're going to go back to Last Light Inn. I don't know why I did that. That's weird. Let's go back to Last Light Inn. We now have a loot, which may be the loot we're looting for. I know what I said. Let's go see if we can wake this guy up. Found a loot. It seems to have belonged to the Flaming Fist. Good. Its music might help restore him. Show it to him. Pull out the loot you found and play a little. Trap there. He needs help. Calm. Breathe. <laughs> You've been trapped in the shadow fell for a century. Take a moment to clear your mind. A century? You're Halsin. Thaniel said to find you. You must help him. Please. I will. But I need to know where Thaniel is. If I venture into the shadow fell blind, I will never find him. I'm not sure I can put it into words. The landscape there shifts and changes. Was there anything that could offer guidance? Something that didn't change? Lavender. Whenever I saw Thaniel, I always smelled lavender. I can work with that. Rest now. Meet me by the lake shore. I have what we need to proceed, but I'll need your help. Be ready. This may prove perilous. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna go deal with that. Inspiration point, 75 more extra experience. We are actually closer to a level than I thought, being as we just leveled up recently. Let's do a quick short rest. We burned some spells, but I think we have more than enough to deal with whatever Helsin's thing is. Possibly. Hopefully. Maybe. Do we still have our protection spell? Our fairy? Yes, our pixie. I guess we would have had to because, because I walked throughout the hospital without taking damage. I like how the pixie blessing still holds firm even though we let her go free and she was kind of a jerk. Alston, you don't have any... Oh, you have Blessing of Saluna, but you don't have any other defenses against this shadow thing that's going on. Alright, let's see what happens. Alston, you are level 5. You're gonna die. You're here. Good. Now we can begin. First, I want to know what to expect. Thaniel is trapped in the shadow, fell, But thanks to your efforts, I know where to look. Now I must go there, alone. Hold on, shouldn't I come with you? No. This opportunity has been a hundred years in the making. It has to be me. And only me. But I didn't bring you here to witness an old druid's grandstanding. You have a part to play in this. And I trust you will play it well. 
With the Oak Father's blessing, I can infiltrate the Shadowfell, but doing so will sap my strength. I'll need your help if I'm to return. I need you to stay here, keep the portal open until I return, and defend it at all costs. Alrighty, you can count on me. Good. Now it's important that only I pass through the portal once it opens. The magic is fragile. Any mistake, and our one chance will be lost forever. It took me years of study, of seeking the Oak Father's favor, to find a way to part the veil. Pray that this works. I mean, I really have no strong emotional Father, attachment. Hear me. Aid me. Force open the jaws of darkness. Make passage for your vessel of light. It's ready. I'll return with Thaniel as soon as possible. Stay close to the portal. Buy me what time you can. How long do we have to hold this portal for, I wonder? Well, we've been coming shadows immediately. There are many of them. That being said, I think we're just going to hold here, right? And then we're just going to, or like, I guess, maybe here. We'll just... Spirit Guardians, although it does appear... that Shadow Hearts initiative is slightly lacking. Yeah. Damn it, missed the first one. Well, we killed one. That's a sh those are shadows. We can ignore them for now, I think. There's a Shadow Chris Harper up there. That's not ideal. Or do we just go all in and kill these ones and then let the rest of the group deal with the other things? That was terrible. We did no damage. Do I rage? Does it matter? Ah, oh, we're not going to rage. Let's just go fight. Another one dead. Let's move back. We can actually move back to here, which is not a terrible idea. Missed necrotic claws. So some of them are attacking, and I'm not sure about the others. Aura of Vile Oblivion. What does that do? We got Life Drain. This is going to be a good time to fireball. Oh, they have range attacks. Did it shoot the... Po oh, you got to be kidding me. You little... Well, they didn't die, but they took some damage. There's three pilgrims. I don't know what they do, but they're all going to die too. It's time for Spirit Guardians. Radiant damage. I'm just going to go down there, I think. Moving. I'll take the AOL. We didn't go far enough. Okay, well, whatever. Um, more... Oh, lots more foes have come in. And some Shadow Creepers. Interesting. Okay. This is fine. Gale's coming up soon, and he's got some deal with this, maybe. One. Two. We missed an attack again. Fine, whatever. Shadow Curse Ravens. Two of those down. We have an offhand attack. Kill that one. Move here. That's not dead yet. But I'm not going to worry too much about it. We can go hit, 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 I think. Kill three things. One. Two. Three. Move in the way so the things coming through have to go through you. They're going around the Guardian Spirit, which, you know, kind of makes sense, actually. Gale, you're going to be fine. That life drain's barely hurting you. There's a lot of turns we have to deal with this. Okay, we got to stop those ranged people from shooting the portal now. Ah. 
that was most of the enemies, I think. There's still spirits somewhere. I don't know where, though. Okay. There's more Shadow Curse Harpers. At least two. Shadow Curse Flame. There's a lot more enemies coming in. At least they're dashing. They can't attack this turn. We'll go in there and hit them because it looks like they have ranged attacks. Those pilgrims I don't care about because they'll die to anything. There's still a vine. I thought we killed all the vines, but I guess not. We have one vine. Stop hitting the portal. This is very annoying. Uh, okay. And a billion more enemies just appeared. Wraiths and stuff. We double shot the wraith, right? We have disadvantage to hit. Maybe we move closer. Yeah. Hurt, but not dead. Nothing will stand in my way. Do we just hit this wraith? Shadowheart can probably kill. Mm, no. Okay. There's so many enemies. How is that dog not dead? Life drain on us. What does that even do? Hit points reduced by two to two d eight. It'll die or reduce to zero. Okay. Well, life drain sucks. How long does that last for? Until long rest. Wow, that is that's super harsh. Okay. Um. We have no more level three spells. We do have scrolls though, so let's see what we got for scrolls. Maybe we have a good one that we want to use, because this seems like a good time. Uh, like Wall of Fire. Where's that? Then we have a Wall of Fire. That's Vampire Touch. That's not Wall of Fire. Did we use Wall of Fire? I think we might have used it before. Everyone's Black Tentacles are what? Bludgeoning damage? What range is this? Yeah. Okay. They all failed their saving throw. Good. Can't really do much now. So, uh, just end your turn. This is actually a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be, and I think we might actually lose. They can shoot from there. They're going to be able to kill it soon. The four hit points. We have three more turns to deal with it, too. We need another spell that can deal with that. This is a big group. We need a big AoE of some sort. These are all stuck, at least, in the tentacles. Aura of Vile Oblivion is back. Game's taking its time to figure out whether it wants to miss or not. It did miss. Good. Okay. We need to kill the ranged people. There's one there. We have disadvantaged it. We can try and branding smite it, though. Can't reach. We're not in close enough range. I think we can reach. Oh, this is an AoE. Slight AoE. Where's the other ranged one, though? There's two. There's one right there. Unfortunately, we can't hit both ranged ones, so...
Actually, I don't think it is an AoE. That one's dead? Almost dead. That one's now dead. We should have one more to kill for sure. Can't even catch my breath. We could just go all in. Jump. Literally just jump over there. I'll just ignore the wraith. No, don't. No, no, no. Stop. There. Another one dead. Okay, I think we're done all the ranged ones. I think we might be okay now. We do need to kill this wraith, though. It could possibly kill the portal, but I think if it walks up here, it'll die. Maybe if there's a second wraith there, too. Is this- Oh, no, our concentration got broken. Damn it, Gale, you suck. Okay, this has now gotten really bad. I guess we do have our- Oh, we don't have any more tentacle stuff. Okay, uh, what do we got? Scroll of Fireball. That was a crap ton of damage. Not enough to kill any of them, but still. Did a good chunk. That one's at one hit point. It should die on its turn, hopefully. That one's got four hit points left. And, of course, it did work. Let's get everyone back to some health. This is bad news for us. That means that they're all going to come charging in and maybe take a bunch of damage from... All this stuff. I might just have to fireball my own group, honestly, at this point. Just this whole area to be fireballed. This thing is about to die. Oh, is it healing every turn? And we just died. Alright, let's try that again. Annoying, but I think we just needed to do it that a slight bit better. I'm going to leave that attempt in because it's such a neat fight that you can see what not to do. Like, get Gale hit. Freaking concentrate. We would have been... Well, no, that it was the Wraith that got us, but still. We would have been better off if he hadn't got hit. We're just going to skip the conversation, though, obviously. I'm going to put... Yeah, I'm going to figure this out a little bit better. I need Arcane... A long way from Waterdeep. Recovery. Let's get a level 4 spell back. Okay, we have two level 4s. We have another Everard's Black Tentacles, and we're going to put that over here, I think. Keep Gale back so he doesn't get shot. And we're going to take down the ranged people on the Wraith first. The rest of them we were defined with. It wasn't really a big deal. But just those ones were bad. That's what hiccups. Okay. You're here. Good. Blah, blah, blah. Finally. What to expect. Well, I shouldn't come with you. Blah, blah, blah. You can count on me. Blah, 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 blah. Next. Fight time. Okay, so the Wraith are annoying. There's one Wraith and four Shadows over there initially. We're going to use Karlak first. Actually, Shadowheart's got a much better initiative this time too. That's kind of nice. Alright, let's just start shooting. Not that one. Ugh. What if we shoot one of these each? One died immediately. One took a bunch of damage. That's really good, actually. We can't get into range of that other one without that first one being dead, I think. God, or possibly just at all. I guess we'll find out. Let's offhand shoot this one. Nope, let's mainhand shoot that one. Took forever to hit that, but okay, back up a little bit. Main character is definitely out of range of everyone. We could go over here. It's also useless. Let's just go right here then. And move. I will put a rage on, I guess, since we can't hit anything this turn anyways. Let them come to us. Aura of Vile Oblivion is on. It's not dashing, so it means it can get into range of us. It is blinded. That being said, Gale is so easy to hit, it's comical. Where did that one come from? 
All right, well, Gale, we'll just wait there for a sec. Let's grab Guardian Spirits. Move a little fort. That was terrible. They did save 14 damage to that one. So the Shadow Curse Harper are going to get some shots off initially, but we're going to kill them next. Or we can put the Black Tentacles down now, right in this region. Hope that's in range of everyone. I'm going to Misty Step backwards. So, over here. Get out of the way of the Wraith, at the very least. That one did save. That one didn't save. So this one might get a shot off. Nope, maybe not. They're all going to stop. Good. They should all die. They're only, they only have two hit points. And the dogs should also possibly get stuck. Yeah. Many more enemies just appeared. All the ravens and stuff just came in. I'm going to try and finish off this shadow first. At least one hit on it. And then I'll move on to the wraith. Take the AOO. Doesn't matter. 11 damage. I'm going to try and topple it. I don't even know if you can. No, immune to something. Bye forever, pal. I need to move backwards. 55% chance to hit. Let's double shoot it. I really need to kill it as fast as possible. And we need to start shooting these range guys if we can later. But for now, we just gotta keep shooting this one. I need you to get... Oh my god, are you serious? Can we stop missing one out of every two attacks? And then critically missing? It might still die from Guardian Spirits. We got life drain. That's annoying. We're going to need to rest after this because life drain sucks. Barbed vine hit us. That's fine, I think. That one died. Okay, Gale, I need you to... Actually, I think I'm going to wait on that fireball. You still have one hit point. Let's use a level one spell and go bloop, bloop, bloop. Those are all dead. Plan is to move up here. Those are dead, and then down here. Okay. Now Shadowheart should be able to stand here as a beacon against the darkness. Possibly. We'll use Mass Healing Word, even though we're not really hurt. We just need the Bless to kick in, I think. Do I just walk down and do more damage to these things? Why not? Kill two more. Get him out of the turn order, you know? few more... This is a pretty good area to fireball now. There's a lot of... Oh, don't lose concentration. That's very important. Okay, this is fine. This is fine. This is good. These guys are also coming in. They're all stuck as well. Some of them died. Some of them are dashing in, which is... a little unexpected. We can't let them get in. I think if they go in, they do a bunch of damage or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm not quite in the right position. That's okay. We'll move people. We'll move Shadowheart back. It'll be fine. And a billion more things just spawned, including that extra wraith. We're gonna go fight, I think. Yeah. Strike you down. Let's go deal with that. A double critical miss. Great. That's exactly what I was hoping for. You know. Okay, Shadowheart, I need you to get up here and kill all these things. Is that everything that was close? Good. Stand here. It looks like they're coming straight up here, so... Um... I'm gonna shoot that Harper. Okay, let's split some damage. We need... Oh. Well, we have disadvantage, but we have a 90% chance to hit. I'm going to move a tiny bit closer and see if we can't not have disadvantage. Still disadvantage. Move up a little bit more. I can't move up a little bit more because there's too many dead bodies in the way. Fine. Good enough. Better? Nope. Still too dark. Okay. Well, double sh... What did I just use? Defen oh, I used defensive flourish. That was not what I meant to use. Oh, well. Shoot. Shoot. Almost dead. And then back up. 
Next person, Gale, you definitely have some fireball opportunity here. Let's see what you can do. It's five of them. Always with the one hit points. We have terrible luck with that. But that said, it seems to be okay. That one is still strangely alive, but will die once it gets up here. Lots of things to kill, though. This is a big fight. A surprisingly large fight, I have to say. Get the Yankee Warriors. They're all stuck. Another fireball here wouldn't be the worst idea. That one's coming in. Dashed in, so no damage, which is good. We don't want damage on us. That's, that's fine. More damage on them. I am a little bit worried about the Wraith Shadow combo here. Strength Drain. Oh, we saved versus it. Okay, that's fine. And we're getting Life Drained again. Nope, it missed. Good amount of damage on those that group. I wonder if we're supposed to hold out. I wonder if it matters if we win the fight. I wonder if we can, I wonder if we can win the fight. It might just be an infinite. This is gonna feel good. Okay, there's a lot of enemies up here we're gonna have to kill. Uh, I'd motive. Out of those split attacks, I'm out of inspirations, so I can probably kill two of them. That one, and then this one. There's still one more up here, which is not ideal, but this is a good fireball area, so we're going to do that for sure. That one's got eight hit points left. I'm not too concerned about that one anymore. Our last fireball, I think, is going to go right... Can we hit all of them? No, not quite. Bunch more of them off the turn order. Shadow Heart, you do have a good chance to hit, but your damage is not good. But whatever. Better than nothing. Do extra damage, sure. Those ones are all getting crushed to death, and they will probably try and move in. That one got hit pretty hard coming in. Those ones are all taking a bunch of damage. That one's stuck. Um, Shocking Grasp? Or just an attack? Just an attack, I think. So close to killing it. Not quite, though. That shadow's come in. And necrotic... Oh, no! Again, those tentacles are down. Okay, that's... I think we'll be okay. This might be fine, still. Kill Wraith. Get back here. Actually, I might be able to get up here and just punch this one. Gloria blows. Immune to prone, of course. It isn't just a shadow after all. That one's dead. Perfect. Okay. What do we have left? A whole bunch of zombies, basically. Try and shoot one. Didn't die, but it's close enough. Let's shoot the next one. Also a pretty solid hit. Okay, what do you got left? You have a fireball? Good. More things off the turn order. What's the left? So there's four damage, four. My Mastiff is in melee, that's fine. And that's yes, basically it. This. That one died. Just stand where you are. You are in the perfect position. It shot the portal once. 17 damage is a lot of damage, but it's not that big of a deal. That one's gonna walk right up to us and not die because it didn't quite get close enough. We did it. We succeeded. Everything He's else done. died. I have him. And who is this random child? But something's wrong. Dreadfully wrong. No. It can't be. We need to get Daniel some way safe. Yes. I'll bring him back to camp. He'll be safest with us. I need to examine him. I need to understand what's wrong. It's almost like something's... 
missing from him. His soul, it's gone. Come see us when you can. All right, that was a tough fight. There's now just so much stuff to grab. So many dead bodies. Really fun fight though. Baby names. She did not wish for her firstborn to be named after her mother-in-law. Muldred. Muldred is a pretty terrible name, I gotta say. <laughs> no offense to, to Muldreds out here. Just not the best. I think we can all agree that's not the best name. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Although Muldred is a great villain name. It almost sounds like Mordred, which is actually a name from uh, Arthurian lore, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. It's been a while since I've read any sort of Arthur-related thing. Mordred, I think, is the son of Morgana and Merlin? I think? Arthur? I can't remember. I'm sure someone knows a bit more than I do, then, about Arthurian lore. Arthurian fiction, because I think there's been some... I think we can all agree. Oh, did I send Shadowheart armor? Yeah, or a sword at least. Send a camp and an armor. Um, that King Arthur probably never existed. There's an actual letter on here called the Task at Hand. What's it say? I need the Shadow Mastiff alive and intact. If that's not the case, the second half of your payment shall be forfeit upon your return to Baldur's Gate. I have generously paid a large amount of gold in advance and have supplied all the necess necessaries. Necessities? Necessaries? You should require to see this endeavor done correctly. They say you're unmatched as a poacher for your sake. I hope that's no exaggeration. Interesting. Flaming Fist. There's one more body there, a Shadow Creeper, which has... That no, wasn't it. It's actually kind of hard to click on. Where's the Shadow Creeper? There it is. Also, I will say that they are doing renovations above me, and it is the most annoying sound just ever. Just full stop. It's like they're trying to dig through the floor. I'm gonna read all these vestiges. Prayers to Saluna, echoing from the past. They did not save him. You glimpse a young harper on the eve of battle against Thorn long ago. He and his comrades toast each other in last light. You can almost feel the heat from the forge. This one was once a blacksmith. You sense a fading echo of the person who once was. A dock hand. He did not ask for this. A faded memory of a boy and girl sharing their first kiss. Your own heart almost flutters in tune with theirs. Aww. That's sad. Survival check. We knew that was there from before, but there's no guarantee we'll make that twice. They sent everything to Shadowheart, probably. We'll do inventory management between videos. Probably to sell some junk too. We have a bunch of stuff lying around. Anything else? Bunch of stuff. That shadow hearts. I wonder what happened to all these people. Like this is a lot of people to have wandering around as shadow entities. Definitely have to sell all these random pieces of armor. I will say, the biggest threat in that fight was the archers who could shoot the portal from a distance and um, the. Sh the. Um, oh, what are they called? This. the wraith. Those are brutal. Hit really hard, and we have to do a long rest now. We have double life drain, which is... Well, the second life drain didn't do a lot, but the first one did. 
Her love for it was like a plum. Let's just read it right now. Her love for him was like a plum. It grew so sweet within her tum. And with a wiggle of her bum, she set right out to see love done. A curse had made the land its lair. It lay over all like willow hair. A wicked strip of the body bare, so filled the people with despair. A shadow curse without a light, yet she would kindle romance bright. And so in moony dark of night, she went forth, or she went to it bereft of fright. And hugged the curse, the wicked blight. Her love for it was like a plum. Then so sharply pain did come. It chewed her flesh like some, like scrumptious gum. She trickled, she burst, she started to run. So she loved the curse and then it tried to devour her. What a shock. Reminds me of the uh, I can fix them people. Okay. I can't believe that that man or woman turned against me when they had a massive history of doing so in the past. Alright, we did pick up a ton of crafting materials. Let's just quickly go into alchemy. I don't know what the hotkey is. We can extract 25 ingredients. What can we make? We can make hearthlight bombs. I don't actually know what those do. A fungal bamboozler. I'm going to make one hearthlight bomb. I just want to see what it does. Alchemist fire, we know well what that does. What does this do, exactly? Bathe in area and light illuminates a 9 meter radius for 10 turns. Okay, so it was just a light potion, basically. Got it. Alright, I think we're going to call the video here. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Others will see you next time. We'll go talk to Helson in the camp, see what's up with his son, do a long rest to try and get rid of these life drains that we've now collected. But for now, take care, and I'll see you all next time.